welcome back to my channel, welcome to this week's Calorie Crush and welcome to another week in which I have tried to remain in a calorie deficit with the overall view of losing weight. I have been better this week, I was very determined that I wasn't going to do what I did last week and just throw caution to the wind and set fire to the wagon and eat everything in sight and all of the other things that I do on a regular basis. So I have been much better and I've stayed within my calories most of the time. I've also had a look at my calories again. Something that comes up and has come up several times over the couple of years that I've been doing these videos is that you eat too many calories for your size, you eat too many calories, you should be eating less, you should be eating less. This hasn't come up recently, but I thought I'd preempt it before anybody starts typing. I ascertain how many calories I should be eating by using a TDEE calculator. That is your total daily energy expenditure, TDEE. -E. It works out an average of what a person your age, height, weight and lifestyle will burn in a day and then it tells you how much you should consume if you want to lose weight. You can also work out for if you want to gain weight for example. Now I've always used www.tdeecalculator.net to work out my calories but a lot of people recommended using the James Smith one so I thought I would try the two. TDEECalculator.net suggests that to lose weight I should try to maintain a lifestyle of eating under 1,959 calories per day. The James Smith calculator suggests that I can have 2,174 a day. So I try to stick with underneath 2,000 and then if I go over by a few I don't sweat the small stuff and that's that's why I consume about 2,000 calories a day. So because my weight has changed a bit recently, I went and I checked it again just in case it changed, but no, I'm fine on 2,000 a day. I'm not fine on 3,500, which I've been on, on some days in the past, and that's why there's been a problem. But this week I've managed mostly to stay under 2,000, and it's been a better week. My head has been much more in the game. I've been much more focused and trying to get my veg in and trying to get my water drunk and all that, you know, all the good stuff, trying to trying to fill up on the good foods rather than leave room for the bad foods. As you know, I tried, I've been trying not to eat out in January. We had one meal out this week with mum because we always eat on a Sunday. It's what she likes to do and it's the one day a week when I can be sure she eats a decent meal. So yeah, we had dinner out on Sunday and I had a roast dinner and it probably would have been better to not have the pudding, but so be it. Apart from that little blip on Sunday, it's been a pretty good week all round. Been to bingo. One of my downfalls was eating rubbish at bingo, so I made sure I ate before I went and I took a couple of snacks with me so I didn't have any excuse to go and buy snacks. Because when I go and buy snacks, I can't decide what to buy. And then I buy all of the snacks and eat all of the snacks. So I, I really have worked this week on doing a better job of staying within calories. The Facebook group has been progressing well. People are getting on well there. Some people are sharing what they weigh, some people are not, and that's all fine. If you're interested in joining, there will be a link down below. We don't have a lot of news other than other than that, really. That's pretty much because I've just been stumbling on. Speaking of stumbling, I did have a fall about two hours ago. <laughs> That's the same. Up to a certain age, if you fall over, you just fell over. After a certain age, if you fell over, you had a fall. So I've started having falls. I had a fall. I basically tripped. I'm not even sure. I don't know whether I fell over my own foot. What 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 happened? But all I know is I was falling. I put my hands out to save myself but I was falling through an open doorway. <laughs> nothing to save myself on. I went down with a wallop like you wouldn't believe on my bad knee. So I screamed. Anthony came running in to save me because he's not at work today, luckily. He helped me up off the floor. It is very bruised and I don't know whether I'll be able to walk tomorrow, but it, when I went down, I thought I'd broken it. The pain when I hit the floor, I thought I'd broken my leg and I was like, oh great, I've got a broken leg. That's all I need. But it wasn't, it's not broken. It was just that there was the, just the immediate shock of it that made me think I'd broken my leg. But I think I'll have a lovely, lovely bruise to show off tomorrow. So yes, I started having falls. And if anything, that does help to drive home the fact that you're too heavy. Because um, all that bulk landed on one knee made me squeak a bit, I can tell you. It really did make me squeak. I screamed. But both dogs came running over to try and help. And of course, they're in your face. And I'm like, I'm okay, but you need to get out of my way. And to get me up out of the doorway and off, off the floor. So it's all fun and games. Come and have a look at me getting on the scales. Here goes then, it's scales time.
to 298.2 I round that up to 298 and a half so you may remember last week I had gained four and a half pounds and that had actually taken me two pounds over my start weight so this week I've lost three and a half pounds of that four and a half which I'm very happy with okay which means I'm one and a half pounds down from my start weight I've lost the two pound that I took that took me over and another one and a half to go with so I can put one and a half on the board here's my weight loss board as I said last week um Katie's very kindly offered us a discount now on these weight loss boards on Etsy and so the link is in the description box below if you want to go and get 20% off one of these weight loss boards from Etsy and I'll show you how mine currently looks and you can put stars all along here when you lose stones and pounds all along here and every time you fill up another load of pounds you do another stone I love it I do love my board it does actually help so yeah if you're in the market for a weight loss journey measuring board that's where you need to go for that you get 20% off thanks to the lovely Katie so the thing I wanted to touch on was that I mentioned in passing last week that I try and keep my breakfasts under 300 calories and one of you guys mentioned in the Facebook group that you thought that was really low that you know that you try and have a hearty breakfast to keep you going through the day I my my metabolism my brain my whatever it is seems to operate differently the moment I open my eating which is one another reason why I'm thinking perhaps I should consider intermittent fasting again because hang on I'll come back to that I'm I'm segueing into other things once i start eating i continue to eat then until i stop eating at the end of the day the later i start the less time there is for me to eat in so i don't have breakfast very early is what i'm trying to say if i had breakfast early i might have a bigger breakfast to try and take me through the day but it wouldn't work i'd have that bigger breakfast and then i still be eating a couple of hours later because once i've started eating i start eating so the reason I do what I do is I have I, I have a late breakfast, probably about half nine, ten o'clock, and I try and only have 300 calories because I know that as soon as I've had breakfast, I'll start thinking about lunch. It's not hunger. It's not hunger. It's just I'm eating now. What shall I eat next? So I only have a light breakfast. I have a 300 calorie breakfast because I know I'm going to have lunch around about half 12. I'm going to have lunch within three hours of breakfast. That's why I have a smaller breakfast. That's why it works for me. But you must do what works for you, obviously. So if it works for you to have a larger breakfast and then maybe not have lunch, go all the way through till dinner, then you must do whatever works for you. This is what works for me and this is why I do it. And this is what has made me think that perhaps combining being in a calorie deficit with intermittent fasting might work for me. I know it's worked for a few other people. I know it's worked for um, Jackie Can over at Factor Health and for Craig and Michael at us too. I know they both, uh, both of those channels, they, they do intermittent fasting and it works for them. And I'm wondering if it might be something I could consider again for me. I did try it, dabbled. I dabbled in it about a year and a half ago, but I didn't really focus on it very much. And I'm thinking perhaps if I did try to focus on it, perhaps it would help. Perhaps if I did the 16-8. So the 16-8 would be 16 hours in which you don't eat and an eight hour window in which, in which you have your meals. And if I did that, I could eat from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. And 6 p.m. would be my cut off and I don't put anything food wise into my mouth after 6 p.m. The only thing that stops me is it is that I believe that when you're doing intermittent fasting, you're not supposed to drink anything apart from water or black coffee ugh, in your fasting times. And I can't go 16 hours without without a fix. I just can't. That That's an actual addiction. I'm aware of it. I know everybody thinks I should give it up. It's like telling a smoker they should give up. They know. They just don't want to yet. It'll click when it clicks. So, so yeah, I'm considering giving intermittent fasting another try, but still only considering it at the moment. I'll let you know what I decide. I have rattled on. I know I'm rattling. I know I'm talking very quickly. Um, it's because I'm trying to do 18 things at once today. I'm trying to fit a lot of stuff into the day because I'm popping away for a night tomorrow. So I won't be here to do anything then. So I'm, I'm recording this on Monday. I don't know if I said that. That's another thing. The three and a half pound weight loss that I've achieved this week is a six day result, not a seven, because last week I weighed on Tuesday and I said to Natalie, should I weigh again on Tuesday and then it's a full week or should could I, I'd like to get back to a Monday weigh in? She said, no, get on the scales and accept whatever it tells you. So I did. And here we are, three and a half pounds down. Pleased to have lost three and a half pounds. Would have been nice if it was four and a half, but can't have everything. Pleased to be back on the losses on the board rather than um, rather than at the point where I'd actually gained more than my start weight. Pleased to feel that I'm back in the right direction. And that's about all I have to say. I should probably stop rattling on and, and uh, go and do something more productive. 
thank you for joining me keep an eye out on the channel there's going to be a couple more protein world videos coming soon so if you are interested in protein world products keep an eye out for those i'm just waiting for a delivery to come and then i'm going to do a couple of videos on that so um of course if you're not interested feel free not to watch those that'll be absolutely fine too if you are not already subscribed and you would like to hear more of whatever the heck this was hit the subscribe button remember to ring the bell so you get notified of uploads the camera battery's flashing if that's not a sign for me to go i don't know what is i'll see you next week take care bye for now